Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. In previous video tutorial, we have seen how to write the uh, query uh, methods in Spring Data JPA and uh, we have looked uh, how to write our own custom methods in our repository interface, right? So as I said, there is some convention you need to follow to write a uh, 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 JPA query methods because uh, on the fly JPA looks into the method names and that derives the SQL query from method name itself. So here as I have given the method name find by last name right. So find means basically you want to select data by after by you will have to write the entity class property name. So on the fly hibernate what does that uh, strips the this find y and looked into the uh, property name right which is uh, in camel case and based on that that uh, generates the sql query and same is applied for the find y first name and email so here you have a keyword like and like right? there are various keyword which is listed on the spring data uh, spring data official websites if you go to the type spring data jp official website website then you'll get some more details about how to write the uh, how to write the query methods in spring data right so here if you scroll down uh, then you can see over here query creation right so they have given uh, how basically that uh, queries gets generated from the uh, query method so every details you can find it over here so here you can read the text like the query builder mechanism built into a spring data repository infra infrastructure is useful for building constraining uh, queries over entities of the repository the mechanism strips the prefixes like find by read by so as i have given the find by similarly you can give the read by as well query by count by get by from the method and is and it starts parsing the rest of it so you can get the details over here and you will get the various example they have given over here how to write the query method basically so here you can see find by email address and last name right similarly uh, you have a find distinct people by last name or first name right so they have given the various example right a lot of supports uh, is given on the uh, spring uh, data jpa uh, official website right now if you go to the uh, another section in uh, reference documentation uh, chapter 5 jpa repository then in if you go to the query creation section and here you can see uh, they, they have they have given the supported keywords inside the method names so in our example we have used the keyword like and right but uh, if you look into the i mean reference documentation then you have a, we have used this keyword right and they have given the method name example as well uh, find by last name and first name right and this will add basically in jp jpql they will add where clause right something like this so where x dot last name it, equal to question mark one one represents the first parameter and x dot first name equal to question mark two so this will basically add the where clause similarly if you want to apply the or right or keyword then you can use or keyword is equals between less than lot of keywords they have given list less than equals similarly lot of things like operator even you can apply ending with containing order by clause not not in true false ignore case a lot of things they have given even they have given the example how you name your method so that uh, spring data jpa will be able to generate the sql query by looking into the method name and they have given the uh, code snippet right if you use uh, if you write a method then where clause what they are going to add so everything they have given over here if uh, now if you go to the last in the, this documentation on the last then they have appendix as well so in this appendix uh, they have given appendix section they have given a lot of things 
like uh, what we have discussed supported keywords they have listed over here as well um, now they have given the query return type as well so in previous example we had given the return type as a list right but that is not limping to the list itself you can even given the give the return type as void you can specify the return type as uh, primitive primitives wrapper types right you can give any uh, um, uh, object type like uh, person uh, employee any object custom object return type you can give uh, give as well you can give, uh, return the iterator of entity object as well collection of entity object list of entity object list of entity object we have given that was we had done in the previous example you can give the optional uh, return type as well even you can uh, java if you are uh, working with java 8 then you can give a stream of object you can you can return a future completable future listener listenable future as well right so these things we will cover in the futures uh, future video suppose if you want to execute your doll level doll level method or repository method in async order async manner then you can specify the return type as future completable future or listenable future even you can specify return type of your query method as slice page uh, geo result etc right so all details are available on the uh, spring data official website so for more details of, uh, of course you should look into the uh, reference documentation of spring data jpa uh, so that's all i wanted to show you in this video tutorial in next video we are going to look some more details in the spring uh, data jpa so please be with me over there and thanks for watching this video